Good morning, Taurus. This reading is for you. This will be your love reading for December. And hello, my name is Renee. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for the support. And let's jump into this. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And of course, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. All right, what do we have for our Taurus? In love. For December. What do we have for Taurus? Okay. Isolation. Okay. You may be spending a lot of alone time right now, Taurus. I feel like you're taking a lot of time to yourself, dissipating. Yeah, I feel like you're you're doing a lot of wondering. I feel like you're doing a lot of soul searching, Taurus. And yeah, it may be because you had rejection. Someone rejected you. Someone rejected you and left you with this energy. And now all you want is acceptance. Hmm. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for December? And love. Spirits. Let it go. Yeah, the rejection that you felt, that person who rejected you, that person that kind of put you in that corner of isolation, it's time to let them go. You have to let them go so that you can get to your next level. Get to your next level, which is your roots of abundance. That is um, moving towards something new. You need to ground yourself and really um, take notice of your surroundings. And at the bottom, you have birds of a feather. So maybe you need to get out and um, be around your friends, be around people socialize um, I feel like uh, you have support here with this card the birds of the feather I feel like your girls or your guys your bros or your sisters they're gonna come and support you in this situation but I feel like this is a situation that the universe is letting you know that it's time to move on it's time to let it go because you don't need to wallow in that sense of reject rejection I can't even speak now. Rejection. No one wants to be rejected. Not at all. And no one deserves that, Taurus. No one re deserves rejection. What do we have for Taurus? In love. For December. Spirits. Guides and angels. What do we have for Taurus? We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's going to come around and communicate with you. You're going to receive some kind of communication. This may be a new offer. Um, someone wants to ask you out. Definitely someone wants to ask you out. You have the Knight of Cups as well. So yeah, they're, they're going to text you or they're going to give you a call. Uh, they may even slip you a note here, Taurus, but <clears throat> someone wants to ask you out on the date. Maybe they didn't realize that you were available. Maybe they thought that you weren't available. So they uh, didn't make a move sooner, but I feel like this person is coming to make a move. They're going to make an offer and ask you out on a date. Okay, you have the tower. And you have the Four of Swords. Okay. With this tower and this Four of Swords, I feel like 
this situation here that you had to let go, this had to come to an end. This had to crumble to the ground. This was your blessing in disguise to get out of this relationship, to move on. Um, because I feel like it's made you totally relieved. It's gave you a new perspective about your situation. I feel like whatever situation that you were in before, it really cut down your confidence. It was kind of controlling and devouring you. But I feel like you're with this tower and this four swords, you're coming out of this situation. You're going to come out feeling renewed. And I think it, it really has to do with this situation here. Once you receive this offer from this person, once they make that communication, you're going to have more confidence to end what it is that had rejected you. What else do we have for Taurus in love, December? The Two of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you need to really stand on your decisions. <laughs> you definitely need to stand on your decisions because I feel like this person who rejected you, I feel like they rejected you to put you in your place. But I don't feel like they want to leave the situation. So now that leaves you with two choices. It leaves you the choice of the someone new or it leaves you the choice of going back to this situation. So I feel like you may have to do some soul searching. You may have to take off that blindfold and look at things through um, raw eyes. Because do you really want to get back into the situation? Or do you really want to venture into something new? And I believe that with the chariot card, I believe that you'll be moving to a new destination. That's what I feel like. I feel like you'll be moving to this new destination. Um, or you may literally be moving. It could be that you lived with this person and now you have to move. But I feel like in some, in some kind of the situation, I feel like you are moving towards something. You're taking action. And I feel like this is going to be a new journey for you. Okay, at the bottom you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like you are resourceful. You are very abundant. Um, you're very capable of anything that comes your way, Taurus. I feel like someone can't put a monkey wrench in your situation and you can't find your way out. I feel like you are very capable of finding your way. You're very capable. Okay, Taurus, what do we have? Let's get an outcome. What is the outcome for Taurus in love? For December. What is the outcome, please? Okay, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're gonna, this is gonna bring you into brand new desires, a brand new, Wow, I feel like you're really focused and I feel feel like it leaves you areas to build onto something. I feel like you no longer feel like you're in competition. You are you're striving to build. Maybe you're building yourself up and you have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you're moving away from a situation, but I feel like maybe it's this new situation here that's got you so fired up, and I feel like it's very passionate and very creative, very new. Um, I feel like it's an inspiring you to build. I feel like this is something that you can build on, and it may be that you're moving in in with this person but I'm, I definitely feel like you're moving away from something you have the will of fortune at the bottom so I feel like the wheel is turning in your favor Taurus I feel like the winds are changing this may be the changes that 
you need in order to feel better about yourself. I feel like that may be what the Wheel of Fortune is for you. Now, this may resonate with all, with some, but um, I mean, hopefully it resonates with all. Let's see what this person has to say to you. Spirit, what does this person have to say to you? Have to say to Taurus in love for December? What does this person have to say? Finding out the truth crushed me. Hmm. Maybe they found out the truth about something, Taurus, and it put them into a situation. What truth did they find out? What did they find out? Maybe that pushed them to reject you. I hid who I really am from you. Okay. Very interesting. And I lost myself for a while. So I feel like this is your person. Um, this is your person coming through who has rejected you. I feel like they found out something um, about you or about their situation. They had totally put them into some kind of depression, some kind of anger, and that's what made them reject you. Um, and they're, they're currently hiding themselves from you. They're hiding their real feelings from you. And right now they're, they're lost. So I feel like this is your, this is your person who rejected you coming through. And they're hoping that we will be together again. So those are the messages for Taurus for December. <clears throat> now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity in the situation. And if, um, have a wonderful December Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.